Church of Scientology will never, ever admit it did something wrong. Never. You know, there's a doctrine. <laughs> you get it almost on every course you do called justifications. So the flock, the Kool-Aid drinkers, are very trained that you don't justify and minimize Take responsibility. If the church messes, messes up in auditing and counseling, happens all the time, and the person gets a yucky result, the church will never repair it for free, ever. More money, cash. In any, in any, if you buy a car and that car doesn't perform, brand new car, in any corporation, something that they sold you, which was incorrect, is repaired for free. Or you're given a brand new one. In Scientology, you pay to fix their errors. And how does that relate to justification? Labeling you. Your NCG. NCG means no case gain. You're not feeling on top of the world, leaving your body, looking down with full perception, stably. You're BTS. You're not making it. You're no case gain. You have external influences. You've been gotten to. Someone from the dark side is talking to you. That's why they have granny police fiercely checking who's, who's friends with who, and is he friends with someone who's, even if it's the third generation friendship, you get tainted. You're saying that tech is good 100% of the time? What about these scores of people who say, I'll never go back to flag, ever. I had to flee. I packed my bags and I fled. They say, well, you know, it wasn't the tech. The justification is they didn't apply it correctly. The only reason they didn't get the result was the application was wrong. Oh, David Miscavige changed it. It doesn't have the purity. And I say, well, how come with volumes that go from wall to wall and all the write-ups and RTC, Religious Technology Center, that's supposed to police the purity, how come people are not applying it? Don't you have to read Keeping Scientology Working and Safeguarding Technology at the beginning of every course? They say, well, they, they, they go past misunderstandings. They, they just, they, they misunderstanding. And I say, wait a moment, isn't there technology to handle misunderstandings? Oh yeah, the study technology. You gotta play with the demo kit. <laughs> you gotta look up words in dictionaries. Yes, yes, we have all that. So I say, if there is study technology, why is half the population going past misunderstood words? Karen, they have overts. They have OWs. They have transgressions. They're not, they're cheating. They're not looking up all the words. Ah, ah. So I say to them, well, do you not have OW technology? I studied every course under the sun, moon, and stars, and I was forced to study OW, PTS technology, over, over, and over. Yes, 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 we have OW technology. But these people are, they're probably infiltrated. The OW technology is flawless. But these people, It's the internet. The internet is the just, 
they they they've been gotten to the tech is always right and you cannot get a kool-aid drinker to believe for one second that something is wrong so after the journey and 20 years and 30 years and round and round the mulberry bush the church says you were a SP all along you were masquerading as a Scientologist you were <laughs> your 300,000 is gone with the wind and you were an SP no wonder you didn't get all this case gain you were a suppressive person the only reason the flawless technology didn't work was you were a suppressive person. But they even have an answer to being an SP, correct? Can't you go do A to E? Well, first of all, you are deluged with courses to on PTS, on S code, PTS SP course. And you've seen these volumes of CDs called uh, oh, confront and shatter, shatter yeah. confront and shatter your suppression alert. So how come after 20, 30 years, people are as PTS as they ever were? Most people find that the PTS, PTS means potential trouble source. They're PTS to David Miscavige, or they're PTS to the Church of Scientology. Those are the prime PTS items. Thank you for the $300,000. Thank you for the half a million dollars. Bye-bye now. You're a suppressive person.